Hey everyone, welcome back to Alvalu Designs. My name is Derek and this is another shop update. Something I wanna cover on the Graph Tech. So I'm amazed at how precise this is. Every now and then I just keep pushing it to the limit just a little bit further and further. And uh, you know, the tracking on this is amazing. I just wanted to point this out. So let me go ahead and flip it around. Um, so uh, right, right now I'm printing a, a couple of banners just to fill in some uh, uh, work while the cutters being uh, you know, used. This is a, um, a wholesale job. So it's, uh, one of the smaller size wholesale jobs, but, uh, there's, uh, over a thousand of these four inch by six inch sheets I need to cut, um, with a couple of different designs. I can't show you the job, which is why I never really show wholesale jobs because the clients, you know, use them for their end product. But, um, basically there's like three to five different designs, uh, on a, a kiss cut designs on a sticker sheet for this one. And uh, this is wasted. I accidentally offset this for uh, uh, one job that's about 100 inches long. Uh, I forgot to type in something. So this got wasted over here. But I just lined the pinch roller up on the center uh, so that it gives maximum uh, uh, stability for when it's cutting back and forth. I was able to kiss cut these stickers at 150 inches. So I did 150 inches worth of vinyl in one shot and it tracked within 20 thousandths of an inch, 0.020 of an inch, and stayed precise all the way up and down. So that is just uh, another uh, testament to like graph tech engineering and how precise, and it's only using four uh, registration marks, only four registration marks over 100 uh, plus inches, 150 I think it was, inches. That That is just insane how stable that material is. Now it did help that I was a couple inches uh, in on each side where the pinch rollers, and it definitely helped that I had that center pitch, uh, pinch roller on the center matrix post, so it a matrix post so that it had maximum stability. But still, that's like crazy. Typically, damn near every time, I only do 36 to 48 inches max. Oh, and it died. I'm telling you, let me hear it, let me filter over. I, I have to buy something with a bigger battery life because that happens every single time. But uh, we'll just, you know, continue holding it, I guess, by, by hand right now. So uh, that is just crazy. Um, these jobs, uh, maybe I can get a client that I'll show you more of, but um, because there's a couple things I would really like to explain. This one I just flipped around and I wanted to show you guys that because I thought that was crazy. Uh, one, oh, one other thing. I had someone send me some of their stickers to let me know the quality of them, which I thought was pretty interesting. And uh, it's definitely cool to see other people's work get sent to me. One note, I'm not gonna say who it was, but uh, you know, when you send a product, I noticed, uh, this, is, this is my sticker sheet, I noticed a little tiny tear. Um, you know, it didn't go quite all the way through the backing. Uh, this is my printed product. It didn't go all the way quite through the backing, which is very similar to what he sent to me, but I sent him a message saying, hey, you know, things like this, you got to pull. You can't give to the customer, especially, especially if it's a wholesale customer, because it's not your brand that you're giving to someone else, which you already want to be high quality. Fine. If that's your product and you give it to the end customer, that's going to be the quality that's representing you. But once again, if you're sending it to a wholesale customer, you need to make sure that you pull those because that's their brand and they're sending it to their customers. So you wanna make sure it is of the highest quality. Let me flip it around here. So you could see I got one tear out of about 500 of these and it's right here. It just stuck to the matrix a little bit too much and when I pulled it, I was like, ah, dang. So every time I pop one out, I check the back real quick and I put it down. And uh, just, just a note to you, man, like you really, really, especially if you're sending it to someone to evaluate, that's something you gotta see. So don't leave any frayed edges, uh, don't leave any peels on the back. If it's your product, you know, that's what you wanna send out, fine. I'd make sure that I don't have any of my products like that. But if you're sending it to a customer, you gotta be like twice as uh, picky because that's their end product and that's how you keep a customer giving them uh, top-notch service and uh, quality products, you know, and because um, everybody wants the best product they can have for the lowest price. And, uh, you know, that's that's one of the key things that, you know, we do here at Sierra Stickers is, uh, oh yeah, that that's the name of our company, Sierra Stickers. But uh, uh, here at Sierra Stickers is we just, 
give the best that we can and that's one thing you got to watch out for anyways just want to do this quick update because my mind was blown about how far that thing tracked and still hit 0.020 of uh, um, a center line so uh, i do like to have 0.040 or 050 for a bleed or uh, offset because the cutter can drift sometimes depending on conditions but this is a little bit thicker of a webbing this is three hundredths of an inch webbing here and here. So that could have definitely helped. But anyways, take it easy, guys. Uh, like, subscribe, comment, uh, you know, hit the notification bell if you haven't. And I will catch you later.